uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! One of the first tanks I ever bought was the Snowstorm Yag Tiger 8.8. .8. And it was so important to get because it had a camo on it. And back then, you didn't get camos. Uh, there were no camos in the game. The tanks were just absolutely 100% stock colors. Yeah, if you had a Yag Tiger 8.8, and it was a snowstorm Yag Tiger 8.8. It looked good. And uh, it was a really rare tank for quite a long time. This tank's undergone a lot of changes. It's had uh, buffs to its armor profile at the front. It's had some uh, buffs to its DPM and its gun. And it's actually kind of a fun tank now. The Yag Tiger, before the power creeps, was um, quite good. Solid all round. But it, it doesn't really feel nearly as strong as it used to be, the Yag Tiger. Um, it used to just be the DPM monster of Blitz that had enough armor that it could side scrape a bit and angle, but, you know, there's just some bullshit tanks out there now. Um, this is very nostalgic for me. I know it's a new map, but this tank, I played a lot of this tank, the 8.8. .8. That KV is the problem. KV-5 actually has very good DPM. Well, good DPM and a decent gun for a tier 8 heavy. So getting rid of this IS would be very handy. Can he track him? Nope, but he turns the IS into a one-shot. Nice angles there on the yo. Good angling. This is something you've got to be good with in this tank. Um, you've got to use these corners and post up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Yo's on a full reload, obviously. He's buggered off, so he can probably sneak one more in here. Nice. And then angle up hard again. Don't give him your drive wheel. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's cool. He's not going to fire promo. You're going to get away with that. You're not going to get away with this. You just got to hope well. Welcome to Russia. <laughs> when the derp hits, you know. Uh, the derp hits, but when the derp doesn't hit, you're like, I hate this tank. Yep. And you stay over there, 152. He's still waiting for his aim circle to go down. Yes, indubitably. Here he goes, looking left, 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 left. Again, middle map. Middle map is so valuable. Um, if you can get your team to get good coverage, good map, like, ownership, uh, look at this green team, how... They are more or less, even though they've lost now, our Amigo becomes the right flank. But if you don't hold the middle, none of it matters. Like, you really got to hold the middle. Oh, that's a boomstick. Oh, wow. And that was, that was Pramo, too. They've really buffed this. This The upper plate on this around either side of the gun mantlet is stronger than it used to be. Great awareness. Because you've got to start making your turns in a tank like the Yag Tiger before the bad guys get there because it quite simply does not have the traverse to deal with it otherwise. That T20, man, he was just outplayed. 5k damage, lovely drive. I know I say that a lot, but these games, Jesus. Yep, finally he's got the penetrations, the yo, good job. A little bit too late, my friend, and now just a boom sig between everlasting love and well this is probably going to be a mastery i can't imagine that nearly five and a half k in a tier 8 td isn't going to get you a mastery particularly a premium one like this as he slowly follows the borsig nice angle very nice angle the borsig wants him the borsig wants him bad the borsig ain't gonna get him <laughs> she was like <laughs> nice drive nice drive i just got to Text message from someone. That's nice. Um, 5,734 damage. Big numbers. Mastery. Better fish 4324 of the Yukon clan. Canadian, maybe. Um, great freaking drive, buddy. Great freaking drive. Jeez, we've got a lot of replays here. Let's have another one. This is I Am Gerald in the Super Conqueror. Super game for the Gerald. And this is pretty much all tier 10 matchmaking. This is the new map. 
Is this Ghost Town? I think this is Ghost Town, right? Ghost Town? No, uh, I think it's Ghost Town. Um, I played this on PC. It doesn't look like this. Uh, anyway, let's keep up with this. I, I really don't know the meta on this map yet on mobile. I've played it a bunch of times and it's just a licorice all sort. It's absolutely bloody everywhere. Um, yeah, I... Hmm. Good looking tank though. I love this camo. That camo is flash. I gotta get that camo. Where the hell did that camo come from? That is... Is that some kind of Clan Wars camo? Are you like some super duper Unicum Gerald from Cats? You're on the Asia server, my friend, aren't you? This is the Asian Cats team. Anyway, one way or another, I like it. You're in the Super Conk, and this is a, a tank that, you know, good gun, good turret. Oh, oh, loves a bit of a butt shot. Good stuff. 514 will take that all day long. Bit of hash coming your way, I'd suggest, buddy. Oh, 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 oh 532. And still getting back in time to discourage that 50B from broaching his point. Oh, and another one. This is lovely. Not missing good ammo changes. Taking targets of opportunity and rushing it fast enough. This is definitely Asia server. That guy's from Snags. That's got to be an Aussie clan. Oh, yes, thank you. Do it, do it, do it. Pull the trigger. Ah. Back to the AP. One of the things you're going to notice on these games is how often they don't use Pramo. And that is something that, after playing a lot of PC, that is massive. Got to love this tank with the hash. After playing a lot of PC at T10, in T10 in PC, they just spam the shit out of gold ammunition. More hash. Everybody loves the hash. 50B is like WTF. Yes, the 50B is like, where's that coming from? Well, mate, hash is hash. Eat some more of it. Oh, the 50B is not happy now. <laughs> He's pissed off the 50B. He's been shot by someone on the enemy team. How dare he? How very dare he? Yeah, that was willful, uh, wishful thinking. Trying to fire hash into the top of the MLB, but still gets a max roll 500. Oh, this is just an absolute, absolute smash. This is just an absolute smash. Look at it. Non-stop action. Yeah, on PC. Every... Oh, mummy's wallet. Yeah, righto. Got it for free. There we go. That was far out. That was quick. That, that was 4.5k. How long did that game go for? 2 minutes 47 seconds. And like, so basically in 2 minutes. He did four and a half K because the rest of it was just driving there. Yeah, one of the problems I have with PC is they just smash Hesh. I uh, just smash premium ammo at tier 10. Um, they just hammer premium ammo. So it kind of ruins the game. Um, whereas in Blitz, if you are bad at aiming, you fire premium, but you pay a penalty for it. You don't do full damage. I much prefer that methodology that is so much better this is baby magnum from agile why see have we had baby magnum before i think we have baby magnum is in the wz121 now listen we've had some bloody good games so far this one would want to be good um i mean i just mr mumu uh in chief to mark six is coming right cool cool so there's a light and a medium on ours light and a medium on the other team the difference in matchmaking it's uh one extra td for the good guys uh, one extra heavy for the bad guys. WZ121, no gun depression. It, it's a tank that I never really got to grips with. I've driven it a bit lately um, as I try different vehicles and I have enjoyed it. It's got a very strong turret. It's big alpha dose is way more valuable than I gave it credit for at first when you drive it right, but it, it can be very frustrating. 412, lovely shot. And that Vickers got caught uh, tunneling. He was zoomed in any money uh, down the end of the... Oh, look. And all the other tanks have just been spotted. So he knows now, Baby Magnum, that the Vickers is alone. Because all the other tanks just got lit up, pushing down there on the heavy line. And the IS-4 is already blowing up. God, I love Blitz. I love Blitz. F-U team. And this is... 
this is the ultimate uh, wet dream for our mate Baby Magnum. Here we go. Load some HE. Load some HE. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was always happening. The Fosh is regretting his decisions. <laughs> Fosh is regretting decisions. I love that. Switches from the HE, but then gets a max roll, which is exactly what happened to the Conk. I love this too. Just constantly checking out. Can I pin that with HE? Such good uh, control of the consumables by these guys. Fosh is important. And he does the right thing here. Goes to clear the Fosh. Desperately wants to hit HE into him. Better off just getting him cleared. And the rest of the team has gone down like a... Uh, Oh, the IS-4 is still carrying on, and the Chieftain is letting him know that he does not support his view of the world. And nice call this. Baby Magnum is like, run. The Bat Chat... The Bat Chat is... Yeah, I don't know what the Bat Chat's doing. This drives me nuts. That's a light tank. There are four red tanks there. Three of them are Tier 10 heavies. Okay. I mean, the bat chats, we've all done this shit. Like, we've all done it. And it's Walter's Hector Savannah, or whatever his name is, is just suffering a momentary lapse of reason. Let's just name everything after a Pink Floyd album. Savedra uh, goes down to the Leopard one. Yeah, that was... I don't... I honestly don't see how he wins this. And I don't know whether he wins this or not. I don't see how he wins this. He's going to have to do... There goes my win rate, laughing my ass off. Well, he's hit a great shot on the E100. And this is actually... IS-4 is still whinging. This is actually perfect. He needs to stop him. He can take this. If this guy wants to trade, he can take this. And then I don't know how many hit points the Leopard has left. Needs a high roll. Oh, Leopard's there. Oh, okay, so I don't know what he does here, but he's going to kill the AMX. He can take one, possibly, from the Leo. Oh, hi, Chi! Oh, yes, come on! Six with your bad ass! Your Chiefs and all that are still whinging, but they're missing glory here. This is massive. How's he going to do this? He's got, this is a good angle against this Leo. An excellent angle. Needs a big roll. <laughs> Gets big rolls. Uh, and now he needs to basically not let this VK get an angle on him. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it. Don't fire. Because once he fires... There we go. Big bounces. Big bounces. The Leo's seen his chance. Three seconds to, for glory. Don't blow it, Leo! The Leo has just shot the ground! Run, sunshine! How are your legs? Get around the corner! Oh! Chieftain's still whinging. <laughs> the Fosh from the red team is WTF, guys. If he gets down the end of this little corridor here, he's got map control. You watch this. This Chieftain now... Oh, this... This VK... Oh, dude... That's a big shot. That is a big shot. That heat round right into the strip was absolutely glorious. That VK is not sitting still. This is over 7K. This is... It makes me want to go WZ right now. Says the ho -re. This WZ. Yes, this is it. Another one. Stick him kind of pro. You're not freaking wrong. Oh. Please hit. No! No! No, it deserves so much more! Come on! Hang on. <laughs> oh, bullshit! Uh, Kolobinov, Radley Walters, or is it Pools? Oh. Wow, that was an absolute carry. The IS-4 did zero damage. Zero. Zero. 
spat a lot of chat. The AMX did 6k. How would you be being the AMX doing 6,000 damage and not only losing the game, but being 1,800 damage short of top on the uh, on the battlefield? I doff my hat to you, my friend. Well, everyone after this is just going to be coming second, but let's go and do it anyway. Uh, Jairo Lemus. Jairo Lemus. Jairo. J. 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 Lim. J. Lim. In the 183. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Where is he going? I'm going to take a wild guess that he goes up here to this section. And then blows the shit out of everyone camping above the spawn and the top of the castle. Or he turns around and goes on the ridge line and does the same thing, but in reverse order. Blows the shit out of everyone on top of the castle and then on the spawn. That's what he's going to do. Ooh, or is he going to go to my favorite spot in the 183, which is down here in the very corner and use the bushes there and the little house to support his mediums. Let's watch. What is the 55.8? Oh, dear God. Grumpy Jedi, Jedi I agree. The 55A is a Muppet, but you shouldn't stop your leopard to tell him because I understand where that frustration comes from. And the 55A is, in fact, an idiot. But, I mean, you got to go, baby. The light tank is spotting the castle for everybody doing the right thing. Oh, dear God. Uh, I would not... Oh, three eights! Three eights! That's it. It's a win. And it's big damage, too. Three eights, eight, eight, eight. Sell that one in Beijing. Surely the M103 is not going to come back out there again after just being touched up for 900 damage. This, when I see 183 games, it makes me want to go play the 183. <laughs> I can't help it. C Cap, there is someone in C. Oh, this could end very badly. This could end very bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Uh, that and the, and then he got tracked, which stopped him from spotting our amigo. Oh my god! Yep, one eight three, come through there. So he's at three and a half K after three hits. The 55A is still in spawn. But you can see him on the minimap behind him. Look at him. Down there. I... Oh no, is that the leopard? That was the 55A that ran out and shot people, wasn't it? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I was I mistake. My mistake. Much mistake, many unhappy. Um two tanks down, though, for all that, for all the heroics. The 55A really didn't play that very well. Uh, okay, yeah, goodbye. Let that, let the, yeah. I mean, that tried to leave the building, that shot. It tried to go high on the circle, but, like, whatever. E3, oh, shitball, says the WZ. This WZ has just put in for a transfer to Browntown. Yep, that is not what you want to see coming around the corner at you. Like, there's no way in the world that is what you want to see. And he's, uh... Got a 183 over there on 43 hit points. Oh, hello. Patton. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. That was some shit life choices, my friend. Um, you had under 700 hit points and you just went around a corner where you should have known a 183 was because he just blew up your uh, heavy tank. Interesting times. This is ballsy. How many times have you been that red 183 where you're watching a spot, you're watching a spot, you're watching a spot, and then you go, right, well, he's not coming, I'm moving. And just as you move, 
That's when he turns around the corner. Grumpy Jedi, um, doing very well. I wonder if that's the CC Grumpy Jedi. Well, it's not. Uh, and it's not Grumpy Jedi, it's Angry Jedi. Um, big hits into the side of the poor Kren Vargen Hagen does. Bit of assisted damage there, just to add to the 6,000 damage base total. Uh, and that is an awfully long reload to be going through now in the Kren Vargen. Uh, things are going through his brain. Snap that! This looks bad. He needs that Leo to clear him. There's no other way around this. Or he needs a bounce. Very close. Still, we have a full hit point T110E3 making his way gently across the battlefield. 183s, man. They can be very frustrating things to drive and to play against. It's got that wonderful dynamic in it. Oh, hello! Yes. Don't you love it? He still got one shot in, and that one shot took half his hit points. <laughs> Just, I don't know what what happens now. Let's have a look. Do they win? On cap? The TD is spotted. They're having a brawl. Still brawling. He's running away. Nice. Run away. Enemy is capping C. Too little, too late, maybe? I think they're going to win this one. Nicely done, Leopard 1. you got to walk away across the line. Well done, buddy. Um, Wowzers. 7,000 damage. I mean, this is the thing. That's 7k damage, right? And that felt so much less exciting than that WZ's game. And that's not any fault of, of JLM. Um, it's just... The way the 183 delivers its payload is so much more intimidating, but it's not as much fun to watch. All right, let's have a look at what... T4. Bugger it. Let's have a look, Stredders. The M8A1. Oh, my God. Looks like a little go-kart. Righto. Let's see. Little go-kart. Doing little go-kart things. Attention to Sector 6. Indeed, Stratters. Indeed. A very wise move. Don't cap. Let's... Well, I mean, it's 30 seconds into the game. I think that is a truth we hold self-evident but apparently not apparently it wasn't enough because he is capping <laughs> what i mean is this is like nostradamus the tanker is he gonna blind fire that bush oh hello yeah that's right get penetrated buddy get penetrated and like it but don't have the crew skills or the optics to actually spot whoever is at t1 at the one line and you're going up backwards oh god t4 Tier 4, where the meta has yet to ever really become a fully functional beast. Tier 4, where TDs with turrets are pushing down the middle of the map sideways. What is that Stug doing? He's getting pushed. Oh, hello. There's an M7. Things are getting a bit wild out here. There's the Grizzly, and he's decided to come... F well, I thought he was going to keep going backwards, but, you know, he was just doing that, just trying that on. 777 is the number of damages on the screen right now. Wolverine, uh, he drove down for a little bit, went sideways, is now thinking about life. What in the hell is going on here? And five minutes into the game, we are starting to get back towards what would be termed some kind of logical deployment of our forces. This M7 is just literally sitting in the middle of the map in front of a Wolverine, and the Wolverine has... Look, the M7 is just sitting here, in the middle of the map. M8A1, nice drive, Stratus, keep going, a thousand damage. I like it, little go-kart engine. That Matilda's a prick. Look at that tank, that is a tough tank to deal with, unless you're in a bloody M8A1 TD, 
which has the penetration to just lay it all out. T4. It is a wild time in the old town tonight. Now, don't forget, if you have subscriber replays, bushkagaming at gmail.com is where you're at. A20, headed high. Stug 3G. Hanging out with the wang out at the top of the map. Setting up for a nice little side shot. A20 is having none of it. None of it. Oh, desperate. Desperate for it. Nice. This is actually still very doable. Nothing at T4 is ever written in stone. Oh, 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 oh. No, he's just fired. Has he just fired? Has he got an auto loader? Does he even have an auto loader anymore? Nope, no auto loader there. And he's happy to uh, trade. Oh, you could probably overmatch that. Get him just on the edge. And the Stug now making his case for MVP as he rumbles and tumbles at the top of the map. Let's get ready to stumble as a... Oh, I have a shot. Where the hell did that hit? That looked like it hit the right drive wheel. Uh, A20 setting the world on fire. One tank at a time. Big hit. Very necessary. It was getting uncomfortable. And the A20 has managed to flub that one. Here come the wolves. Woofing. Boof. Nice work, Stratters. Good drive, buddy. Good drive. Solid.com. My favorite part of that replay was the start where he goes, don't cap. And immediately some medium <laughs> goes into the caps and just sits there. <laughs> like 30 seconds in. Uh, how long have I been doing this for? We might have to come back to this. This is nearly an hour. Um... We'll come back. Anyway, look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, or no, no, bye for now.